Waz and I made it to space, but that's just the beginning. We now need to explore the galaxy and make our factory interplanetary. Our goal is to beat Space Exploration plus Crastorio 2 before Space Age releases and time isn't on our side. Will we make it or will this save file be a mark of shame on my hard drive for the rest of time? Welcome to a race against time and space. Hours. You don't sound so bad for pushing 120! Hours. That was, that was an hour. Actually, we're closer to 85 hours for part 8. Previously, we got Cryonite, the much needed blue powder, and today, I plan to use it. Words are hard. <laughs> if I just join every table in the database in a single query, that, that'll be the fastest query, right? Yeah. Easy. Select star from star, join star on star. Yeah. It's as easy as that. Hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to get a whole bunch of data from like 60 different tables while uh, optimizing for lowest possible number of queries. <laughs> what kind of a speed run is that? Uh, the kind where people are like, no, you can't make six queries. That's inefficient. You could do it in one. Like, uh... The, brother, are we running low on like text files? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. You know, because you gotta you gotta add like seven hundred rows to the result just because some of the things have like an extra uh, thing from a join. It's great, and all it took was an ungodly amount of completely indecipherable JavaScript. It's it's like the phoenix rising from the ashes. You know, you you dismantle the whole database and return it as one table, and then you build it back up in JavaScript. Efficiency. Yeah. Back on the moon, we need to start thinking about the long process of turning rough data substrates into utility space science. This requires the cryonite rods from last episode to be bulk launched from the science rocket. Okay, so I go to lighter meteor land? Yeah, I would take four of the big turrets. I don't think they're getting made anywhere, but they're not too hard to make. I'm putting cryonite in the rocket. Also gonna call your data tabs over here via train. Oh, we also completely mined out our other stone in the base. I don't know, is, is four and a half K landfill enough? Oh, well, just wall off that little section there and landfill over the bridge. Gucci. Got me rocket soil line, simple as. This is calendar Hephaestus. No, Hephaestus. Where is it? Fuck. What's it called? Infamy. I'm sending it to Infamani. Under the sea. So am I to assume you will send me rocket bits? What do you mean? Infami. I don't need to produce them myself there. You're talking cargo rocket sections? Yeah, all like the rocket parts, other than fuel. All you need is rocket sections beyond that. Make sure to take a rocket silo with you, and then here is a great place to make and distribute the rocket sections, so should be easy to send them over from here. Especially once we get requester chests, then all this fucking spaghetti can get swept under the fucking rug. Uh, probably should go fix that wall and grab that stone before I do anything else. But it's so boring. Oh, dude, the extra rocket strength feels so good. Holy shit. Oh, wow, they're one tile away from being able to get over here. There's like one one tile of deep enough water, otherwise it's all shallow. They almost could have made it. Well, no time to lose, my people need me. Before I get started on research, I need to make some space buildings. One thing I feel conflicted on is all these space buildings. Some are fundamentally different with larger sizes and faster crafting speeds, and some even work as a mix of buildings, like the space manufactories doing both assembling and some smelting tasks. They generally look pretty cool too, so thematically I like them. But practically they are just same shit, different building, but now you need to build them in space, which is annoying because you'll only need a few of them, so it feels like a waste to fully automate, but a lot of them can only be made in a space manufactory, forcing you to gather up all the resources needed for the building by hand, which is tedious. There's also a lot of them, and because many of them are copy-paste the same functionality as buildings on other planets, it gets confusing looking through like 30 buildings just to find which one scrubs sand at 100 RPM. Things start to get a bit more complicated now. Forgot the petroleum. Oh, where? Space. 
You need petroleum in space? Mix chemical gel. Oh. Crafting times go up, recipes feed back into themselves, and for some reason, every conceivable fluid known to man is needed in space where it is the biggest pain in the ass to transport. At the same time, tools get better, and our ability to solve these types of problems in theory gets better too. My favorite research is queued up in the top right corner of the screen, so like a dog with a carrot on a stick stuck to its head, I'm running straight into a wall. Did y'all know that prepared statements are the devil's work? If you let the database know what you're gonna ask for it, it, it might it, it might have a chance to formulate uh, a biased answer. Genius. I love how floaty the jetpack is. It makes it feel like a jetpack, you know? And I like all the smoke it puts off, too. Yeah, makes me just feel superior to everybody. Are you excited when we get to the point where we get to tear all this down and make it aesthetic? Uh, what? The part where I tear down our entire sp sp space platform and make it look aesthetic. Uh, I'll be... I'll probably be on a different planet. I'll let you have that be your passion project. Oh, I'm dumb. In a good way, though. Uh, I don't need chemical gel, I think, because there's just two ways to get polished data cards. Oh, yeah, you can just use I thought they were or, or chem gel. Okay, well, that's very nice. Okay, well, fuck all this shit. Okay, so the difference is that uh, chem gel is one to one and cosmic water is five to one. And you don't need to deal with contaminated cosmic water. Contaminated cosmic water is kind of a good thing though if we want file sludge i actually have that set up over here here already for life support so kind of a good thing scraps nice too on today's episode breathe himself from the influence of foreign oil wait we can make bio sludge from biomatter i would have thought that, that's the only thing you can make it out of one percent contaminated bio sludge which you can turn into bio sludge can you eat bio sludge i don't know what bio sludge is for sounds like a good flavor i assume it makes bio gun ammo but I haven't seen anything yet. Okay, well that makes things a lot nicer because it means I can just do this. Oh, you can mix bio sludge and methane to make crude oil, which is weird, but okay. Oil. Ew. Oh wait, we do need chemical gel for the thermo fluid. Uh, okay. All right, well that's, oh, and heavy oil. Hmm. Okay. The thermal yes. fluid's like very recyclable. That's true. I just need heavy oil. Well, technically just heavy oil because I can turn some of it into petroleum and then I can do this. Hmm. Can we supply this with just the cannon or do we need like something more until we until we get oil or uh, coal liquefaction? Yeah, if you just shoot a few up here, that might be enough. Okay, let me get this, this stone set up because I think that's bigly right now. And then I will do that. You know, so some guidance on communication. Uh, let's see, am I done with laundry? I'm done with laundry. It didn't really feel like there was a great way to do this. We already launched heavy oil up here and we can crack that into light oil and petroleum, but it's really inefficient. But sending up barrels of petroleum seemed like overkill and added another item to the already long list of rocket demands. Plus it's awkward because nothing else on Navis needs barrels of petroleum. He can't read. Really, really he legitimately short. can't read. Whoa, 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 wait, <laughs> wait a minute. We can't, I- this, this guy is like, he's a nice enough person, but holy shit. Whatever the fuck he actually does, cause I don't know. I'd like to amend the record. I can read. <laughs> I'm sad. I mean, to be fair, he is actually better because he didn't do anything. <laughs> I think it might be easier if you just shove the, the crude oil barrels, or sorry, the heavy oil barrels into the rocket cause it's getting kind of full. And that's, that'll probably be a lot easier for you to, to work into the science rocket. <laughs> Okay, is there any room? Well, there's a shit ton of lube in there. There is. Speaking of new buildings, supercomputers are the second to last step in this process, turning blank data cards into machine learning data. Where are you barreling up the lube? In the middle of the base. Ah, oh, I see it. Next to the water. Wait, no, that's water. Where's the lube? It should be like middle top of the belt. Now I'm just curious where the fuck the lube is. God, this is such a mess. I want to fix it, but I also don't. Oh, yes. 
There it is. <laughs> Machine learning data also needs thermofluid made from sulfur, iron, copper, heavy oil, and chemical gel. You're doing it. Okay, so blah, 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 blah. Cracking down the heavy oil is not efficient, but it's easy because we can just send more heavy oil, which we're already sending. Even after talking a lot about petroleum, Waz has other things to do, and there were literally two people planning a multi-thousand person event at the same time in Discord, so I think this works a little better for someone who can't, who can read. Cracking is a nice thing to have up here anyway, balancing out our oil supply is nice so we don't run into situations where we feel like we need to send up more petroleum when we already have 10,000 heavy oil that's not being used. It's a two-step process that works best by connecting pumps to tanks and only turning on if we need light oil or petroleum. We don't want to crack down all the heavy oil because there's no way to reverse the process and like I said before, it's really inefficient. I mean, those are really the only two groups, right? Yeah, yeah. Light oil and petroleum. You got it. But I think all other issues are pretty uh, unimportant. I can see where you're coming from, but the actual production chain of substrates into space utility science is only the first part. It leaves behind several byproducts that need to be processed, so although it looks like a long process, it's actually even longer. But because it's expensive to send resources up here, these byproducts are actually really amazing because they can be recycled and used again for much cheaper, or even provide resources for other processes needed in space. I really, really love that. It feels amazing. And I'll talk more about how we do it when the main process is set up. I'm also sending up way more resources than I need right now because I didn't realize that landing pads take a while to unload and because they don't logistically project their contents to the demand signal like storage and passive provider warehouses that everything else is stored in up here, the cargo rocket on Navis will load with things that are already satisfied, so I have like 12,000 rocket fuel when I was requesting 1,000 and just assumed it was some bug. Don't worry though, this can be fixed by just adding more warehouse, and I won't figure this out anyway for another 30 hours. Ugh. Yeah, got it. Oh, baby. There you go. Appreciate it. Oh, they're stealing all the heavy oil. Okay, there you go. Thermofluid needs to first be cooled in these thermopopsicles to become cool thermofluid, then it can be used to make machine learning data, and these supercomputers will spit some normal temperature thermofluid out again, so we need to make another recycling loop. I'm also using a requester chest to grab the copper plates and green circuits needed for the machine learning data as well as rough data substrates for the polishing process. I mean, they make little little gyro stabilized sippy cups for babies. I can't afford that. Next time on God. What the fuck is this shit? How'd this happen? What the shit? There's like a belt with mixed small electric motors and gears and I'm trying to figure out where the fuck they're coming from. I'll go space. Good, I've almost solved the puzzle. Simply one more piece and it is mine. Based. Here comes the stone. Hello, Hello stone. stone. <laughs> How Welcome. are you? There he is. He is here. Vegans work in space. Vegans? Vegans work in space. Maybe? I don't know. Yeah, most stuff up here is pretty fucking fast. Not a big difference. All right, machine learning data. Fucking let's go. What up with scrap? Of course it does. I guess that's a good thing overall. Oh my God. A wide area beacon two. 20 module slots. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Oh, you love to see it. All right, well, the space is getting exactly one building per thing we need to make. 20 speed modules. That's amazing. All right, so are we getting the Ciencia now? Or? Yeah, I have to filter the scrap up, but then we're good. Oh, we're only getting the 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 cards. No, this is this is machine learning data right here. Yeah, but now we now we need to get the utility science pack. Oh, there's another step. I didn't even. Yeah, the hard step now. Uh... You've done <laughs> the easy it. step. 
Okay, this isn't too bad. Because now we need processing units, space oh, transport belts, efficiency fuck. module, cryonite rod, machine learning data, and cold thermal fluid. I have all of these, but the efficiency... Dude, who makes efficiency modules in 2024? Uh... Lol. Okay, well, that's... Lol. Okay, do you need me to send you efficiency modules, or you want to make them up there? Uh, let me look at the recipe. Cable circuit electronic components. Fuck. Because if you just want to build like a big rocket depot and we can just like make that our hub and we can just build around that, that's something we should probably do. Yeah, the only thing, because like we can have, we can have a space bot mall that is like send copper up and iron and then it makes all the shit up there because sending a bunch of intermediate components is annoying. But we just need the requester chests. And we, we're not making any efficiency modules, right? No. Okay. But I think those three things might be all be close to the red chips. Components and circuits are... Steel uh, blue ones we're making. Because, I mean, they all have the same ingredients. Yeah, they're similar. Aren't they all the same? No. Who needs solid fuel? Fuck. Oh, well, this is easy. It's just copper cable and green circuit. But my perfectly balanced red circuits reek. I okay. made it and they're not um, perfectly balanced, don't worry. What? Oh, you made it. Right, right, right. <laughs> they're not. Well, I, I actually tried. That's the one thing I tried to balance and it didn't work. So, big kicks. Ah! <laughs> I'll be shoving the scrap in this warehouse for now. Oh, hey, we need Immersight for the next, uh, for optimization. So that's a, there's a lot of that on Morgan. So I can grab that there. Damn. Every time you say Morgan, my brain cuts to one word of one line of a song in an Eric Andre episode. Okay. There's nothing wrong with screaming fuck every now and then. Take it from a, a former league player. Okay, how many of these do you want me to send up? How many do we need? How many pro uh, efficiency mods? Utility science pack, we need one each, and then logistics system, 250. Okay, well, I'm just gonna send up 250. Well, we can also, so like if planets have oil, can crude oil be burned? in a uh, fuel, the thing that just converts it into power. I'm talking about gas power stations. The answer is no, they only work with gases, not liquids. I move the scrap recycling near the heavy oil so that the heavy oil output can just conglomerate in the same tank. Scrapping makes copper, stone, and iron ore, which can now be smelted directly in these thermodynamics facilities. The stone is actually an input for space science, so I'll just let it pile up in a warehouse. I didn't calculate what percent of each resource we'll be getting back, but it doesn't matter. The recycling process just feels so good. I love it. Feel, feel goog. Feel goog. <laughs> Feef goog. Feef goog. The machine learning data thankfully curves down near the requester warehouse. This means I can abuse its requester slots even harder to get the processing units, efficiency modules, and cryonite rods all needed in utility science. Utility science also requires the thermofluid loop, which thankfully is very easy to add given the pipe positioning. Pure chance. Iron Jesus, pull the trigger. Man, I'm, I'm, I don't know why I'm just like in the, the stacks snackish. Like this entire week, I've just been snackish, and I don't know why. Um, the snack is kind of weak. I just want to eat something. Oh, I experimentally determined the correct temperature and time to bake the protein bar bits, and it's uh, 350 degrees for eight minutes, oh. and they like turn into puff cereal with chocolate chunks. The ultimate granola. These make such nice little cubes. They do look right? like something shit on a tray. Thanks. I mean, they cost like a dollar. How big do you want your Zimbabwe board? You know, I've been been thinking I'm gonna start a speedrunning category called discord percent you have to beat space exploration but you need to be in a discord call with at least three other apes and you can't deafen or disconnect I'm by no means a speedrunner but I bet I'd be able to hold a world record in that category specifically
All right. Uh, all I need is the efficiency modules. I'm waiting on them. Sweet. Okay. Is there anything else you want in the rocket? Low density structure. Uh, do you set all the science to be rough substrate? No, those are those are filter inserters, but and they change their they change their filter based on logistic request. And right now they don't have any science request for any of the five science on the ground that we make, but they do have a request for substrate because there's not enough substrate in space. I'm confused, but okay, I'll take your word for it. Honestly, I don't blame him. I was trying to be clever and allow for more flexible reusability of belts by setting the filter of filter inserters logistically, but there's a big issue. Filter inserters can only have four filters set at a time, so if there are more than four products needed in space, everything after the fourth product will have to wait until one of the first four products are completely satisfied. If there is zero supply of those four resources, then the other resources will never get loaded, which is unnecessary and bad. I'll spoil the future a bit just in case anybody got inspired by doing this. I recommend having a belt for each resources using loaders then having the belt before the loader logistically turn on if the request is greater than zero instead. It's not the only way to do it, it's just much better and it's fairly easy. I really hate that blueprints take up a slot in your inventory. They really shouldn't. Man, it's always seemed kind of whack. Bum, 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 bum. Um, I spend some coal up for when we get the faction. Yeah, why not? Uh, I'll send some stone up because I know you need that for something. I have 6.5 thousand stone, but you can send up more. Do you need glass? I have three, I have almost 4,000 glass. Okay, well, we need it down here more. Do you just want me to send this thing up? Because we're out of rocket fuel, actually. We actually, I think we need to produce more oxygen. So if you can, if you want to add more condensers, yeah, I'm, I'm headed over. Yes, I will put speed mods in these. That boy. You bastard. You bastard. Oh, actually, if you can send some iron plates up. You need fucking iron plate. All right. I can send the air right up. We can send that up. Oh, man, this thing's filling up fast, dude. What the hell? Rocket. Yeah. Okay, 10,000 iron plate. Here it comes. Beauty. All right, do you want another 10,000 iron plate? We, we take those. That should almost fill up the rocket. There were a few things on uh, Vise I wanted to touch up by hand. I can take the science rocket back up when it's full. Yeah, I only eat things that can kill me. Why else would I eat? Whatever doesn't kill you <laughs> isn't finished yet. First of all, I need to update the part here that makes the rocket capsules. The changes I made from Avoria need to be edited so that the science rocket correctly loads one space capsule for each launch. And uh, actually that was it. Probably could have done that from space, I suppose. Oh well, we're a spacefaring race now, we can afford this. And there we go, just as planned, the utility science is being made, that is so incredible, we have so many big upgrades coming, let's go. I never ended up making these research servers, let's see what they can do. Oh, nothing, cool. I got productivity twos up here now. More science per science feels good. Oh, logistic system, best research in the game. Don't even talk to me about this. We can now make our own requester chests, which means if we want something somewhere, a bot can just deliver it there. For smaller amounts of items and in space, generally requester chests are basically the best item to have. They're a little slow with bulk items, so belts and trains are still the way to go for heavy manufacturing, but holy shit, now space spaghetti is relocated to just fluids. Guess what I just made 50 of? Uh fish? I don't know. Requester chests. Oh, I didn't even realize we had the, the tech. Yeah, I got it like five seconds ago. Nice. Ooh. Okay, Poggy. Fucking finally. Brother. Oh, you know what time that means? Military five. Ooh, ooh. Just kidding. That doesn't actually give us anything. You know what it does give us? Advanced electric engines. And bot speed. Oh. Elmo says get back to work. Classic Elmo. Man, every time that sound just mwah, chef's kiss. Can you hear me? Yep. Awesome. Now you're part of a cell phone commercial. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Fuck. Okay, all this machine learning data makes broken data cards, which can be recycled back into blank data cards, which saves a lot on the rough substrate usage. Just need a supercomputer and thermal fluid. And guess who will be delivering the broken data cards? Yeah, yeah, that's right, the bots. The only thing he couldn't dodge 
was the draft. <laughs> Yo. I woke up at like 7 a.m. this morning and was like, I looked at the clock and I was like, oh, thank God it's Saturday. I get to sleep more. And I'm like, and wait a minute. No, it's no, it's Friday morning. I have to get up. And I'm like, oh, fuck. It's Thursday morning. Back to the fridge. Remember when when you had to do one small favor? I might have never done it because I was like, absolutely not. But it's just one small favor. How hard could it possibly be? You guys finally built a fridge in Factorio or what? Bro, we got a fridge now. A Mogus. Build yourself a, a sex box. We could like just a... grab a grab a biter, make a hole and go to town, I guess. Right. Oh, and not, uh, I don't think you can play Halo on that thing. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unacceptable. I, I hope that update gives you more enemies than just biters. You you could pretty much have Helldivers 2 in Factorio. I think you could just, just merge the two games, right? I don't see why not. Man, all this scrap is kind of sick, actually. I'm really happy about it. Space scrap or what? Yeah, so you have to make, like, really convoluted space science chips, and after you use them, you can try to recycle them, and sometimes they can get used again, and then sometimes they break and become a broken card, which you can then turn into scrap, which can then be turned into raw materials, which can then go through the process of actually making the cards again. Oh, neat. Really proud of this warehouse that's working overtime storing all types of scrap, broken data cards, and blank data cards. I'm getting the bug that's like, it might not be a bug, it might just be some weird thing I don't understand, but I can't connect two systems with different fluids, and it's, there's only one fluid. This upstate New York in space? Yes. Okay. Like that? Yeah, why, what, why didn't it, it wouldn't let me, <laughs> I don't understand. I just had the bots do it. Okay, well, thanks Scoob. I am the best. In chess, you let the pawns go first. Actually, in the Zhong Zhuang opening, you uh, technically let your king go first. Plus. All right, new load of efficiency modules should be up shortly. You know, my toilet making skills leave a lot to be desired. Ionized toilet. That's up. Not too much. Uh, oh, here it comes. We've launched tons of rockets at this point, but watching each launch still warms my... It, it makes me feel warm. Damn. It takes up less room and makes more space science to just make it in a space manufactory. One or two of these generally solves any item per second issue easily with its 10 crafting speed and 6 module slots. I think you redesign it and make it into a urinal. Tell them you only have urinals at this place. We've decided that toilets are inefficient. We all use urinals now. It's actually just a hole in the floor. Don't fall in. Do you guys have a room put off? to the side just for like all the zin cans that they need all the what <laughs> what? The, the tins of zin mm. like chewing tobacco but there's no tobacco in them oh what yeah damn all right which toilet symbol uh <laughs> We've mentioned bot malls a few times, and now you get to see what we mean. It's just a requester chest, some type of assembler, and a passive provider chest. Select what you want to make in the machine, shift right click it, and shift left click the requester chest. No, I did not invent this, I am a dirty plagiarist, and I'm sick of doing all this assembling myself, it's about time the bots do their part. This design makes it really convenient to make one-off or low-quantity things like assemblers or inserters. The quote-unquote mall part of Bot Mall refers to a bunch of these buildings next to each other. It's built this way so that finished products are close to one another and it's easy for bots to grab intermediate parts that are needed farther down the line. There's a lot of sophistication that can go into a bot mall in terms of placing intermediate items near their parents, but the goal right now is just to make one of each space building, and I really don't need a lot of them, so their proximity is mostly just because I have the space here, and it'll be easy to find them later. Cube people. Radiation facility. Relatively safe way to play with radioactive material can be used for uranium processing. Huh. Uranium hypercooler. Ooh. That makes the cold thermofluid, not the cool thermofluid. Uh, See so if the like balance three fluids at some point with. Uh, I think it's more than three. Wee 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 wee. Have you seen your YouTube account? So very special. We're very very proud of you, Sauce Man. <laughs> 
fans. I'm one of your biggest fans. The secret ingredient is redacted. Thought we were gonna keep that a secret. I haven't done anything like actually productive. Well, you made the efficiency modules. I did do that. <laughs> was that today or was that yesterday? Uh. Absolutely massive cock. Yeah, he's a sh fucking. He's a straight up chill dude. <laughs> lizard. He's a lizard man. He he does love choo choo trains. Surprisingly, we're already close to finishing the relevant utility science upgrades. There's a few others in here like swarm safety and mining productivity, but they're either very minor or really expensive and powerful, but not actually a fundamentally new thing, just an upgrade. How's your uh, nights going, fellas? Crack. Oh, wow. <laughs> just Casually, say crack. of course. Yeah. Just... Yeah. 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 <laughs> this is how I turn up on a Friday night. Like, <laughs> we gotta keep you away from the trains. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking hate you guys so Just much. Casually. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. He's a bitch. Fuck that guy. Oh, I'm getting busy. I swear Dude. to God. <clears throat> fucking dig if you want to live. <laughs> I'm using space manufactories for anything that needs them, but for smaller ticket items, the space assemblers are nice because they aren't the size of a community center. Space is generally the end destination for resources. Space receives imports, but doesn't physically export anything, just researches. But with rocket reusability, quite a few cargo rocket sections end up in space and aren't needed. Additionally, the rocket fuel cost to launch from space is about 10 to 20 times lower than other planets because the gravity is so low. This actually works out perfectly. Avorion and I'm sure other planets in the future are going to be desperate for rocket cargo sections, so I set up a cargo rocket for delivering cargo rocket sections to other planets in need. Or at least I set up the rocket fuel for it. I don't have a silo on me at the moment, unfortunately. My mind's telling me no. <laughs> But my body, my body's telling me, yeah, fuck yeah, bitch. We can now make futuristic recipes like this new way to make lube. Lube is usually made from just heavy oil, but when you add cryonite slush, you can make it for one-tenth the heavy oil cost. Given that cryonite rods stack to 200 and oil is very inefficient going to space, this recipe is incredibly useful in space. But back on Navis, it doesn't make any sense at all. We have an infinite oil supply and zero cryonite. I really like the optionality that new recipes for things you already have access to add. It's not much seen in vanilla, and I feel like it adds a ton of depth and isn't super hard to implement. Cryonite slush does require sulfuric acid, which can only be made in these giant bio labs, so I just hope I don't hate myself later for this spaghetti. Okay, what is today's plan? Is it get Vulcanite? Yes, uh, we'll send you to the Vulcanite planet, and then okay. I was gonna make a bot mall for all the random shit. As is tradition. I'm probably gonna be trying to do as much as possible there since there's all pretty good resource spread. So lots of miners. All right, I'm actually going to make lube out of cryonite slush because it seems a lot more efficient yeah because it's instead of 20 heavy oil i mean i guess because we can just ship up sulfur up to you and then you can use that to make sulfuric acid and then use that right do you think there's anything else i should be bringing here it has copper and iron and oil core mining probably gives you quite a lot of stone i probably should get more pipes i do not have a lot of pipes yo What's up? So, not too much. All right, work in space is done for now. Time to play with our new toys and build some new things back home. I set up a landing pad here for dropping off cargo sections, but I wasn't really thinking. Turns out Navis is the one place that doesn't need them because it manufactures cargo rocket sections itself, so this was a waste. Okay. This is it just isn't economically viable. Speaking of waste, I also set up a train to deliver the rocket reusability cargo sections to the science rocket, but they stack to one. Bro, what were you thinking? Come on now, this is a job for the bots. This is like the least efficient train possible. 
Somehow the core miner is still chugging. I'm surprised there's 10 different resources that could back up and we've found a way to use all of them. It's also nice because it's the only way this planet can get pyroflux, so I'm hoping to keep it this way. I might just head over right now. To Do you have requester chests? Yeah, I should grab some of those. And we should have a shit ton of solar panels if you didn't grab those. Oh no, I've got 5k solar panels. Now that we have requesters, it's like, like your thing doesn't actually need a belt of cargo sections anymore. We can just request them. So I'm going to do it that way for every silo we have. And then have okay. a place for handling, packing, and unpacking. Actually, we could probably unpack at every cargo silo because then the bots carry one fifth the amount of materials. Probably makes most sense. Yeah. Did you automate request your chest? No. Okay. Well, then I can just make some in my inventory. It will be one of the first things that gets the grace of God. Yes. Got anything else to put in here? Uh, you're going to be making rocket fuel there, right? Yeah. So I guess I need some refineries. Yeah. I'll throw some chem stations in. Maybe you want some prod twos. Uh, I have 120. I'm probably going to be sticking with efficiency, so... Belts, nice. Uh, bots. Put some bots in there. Roboports. Got some, okay. A signal receivers and cargo landing pads. I should have a cargo landing pad in there. I'm going to throw some fluid wagons in. Ten locomotives. Okay. Uh, as soon as we get this thing ready, I'm just going to jump in because I need to go do something. So we got like normal space science and then utility space science. And then there's three other ones to get. But with utility space science, we can now make a bot mall and do some other things. I see a straight line forward for what to do. I don't know if you feel the same. My, my straight line forward is get the fucking Vulcanite right now. And I'm hand fueling the refinery so I can get off this fucking rock. That's just light oil and water, right? Yeah, we don't have any light oil. Do you have an oil planet? Well, after get the vulcanite we can also get coal liquefaction and then not ship oh. anything to up there other yeah. than coal and then we're fine i'm also gonna reach out and get that other oil well this one uh well there's that one there's also the one immediately which is even bigger right right there we have like eight locations that are pumping oil right now, but it's still not enough. I can't remember needing one tenth this amount of oil in vanilla. But what's one more oil field, huh? Statistically, you get five more damage. Wrong game. No, ten more damage. All right, now we're rocket fueling. Well, that's good, because I ran out of rocket fuel up here. Thankfully, I'm just going to be able to make it from Pyroflux, since I got a bunch yeah. from the Vulcanite planet. You get an infinite. That's incredible, actually. Man, that might be the rocket fuel the supply planet for, like, everywhere but Navis. Well, well, the problem is, like, I can make the rocket fuel, but it only stacks to ten, which is not great. That's true, yeah. Yeah, sending rocket fuel around is kind of terrible, which is interesting. I wanted to go back up real quick so that I could tweak a few things. Waz is still loading up the other rocket and God damn it. God damn. Uh, the rocket crashed. I'm mostly annoyed that now your rocket's going to steal the fuel. I'm almost you're so there. you're close. <laughs> okay, before my rocket rudely interrupted me by crashing, I was going to tell you about this nifty rocket silo I am setting up here. At our current rates, I think it will take 71 rocket launches to the moon to fill this rocket up with cargo parts, but it's here. Waiting. All right, economy's booming up here. All right, I am still not at the fuel quite. <laughs> Ugh, pain. Yeah, I, I've got there's a little bit left on the belt from the splitter. I'm gonna see if that's enough to get there. <laughs> just, squeeze it out. Just wring out the, the dish towel of, of oil here. Come on. I queued up 37 pulverizers and I stopped paying attention like 20 minutes ago and they're still crafting. Okay, it's done. We're good. I'm ready. I'm gonna launch it without being inside because it, it'll be funny. All right, let me uh, let me get young on the webcam. Oh, the right uh, actually, I need one more thing. Cliff explosives. Uh, All right, here we go. We're going to space. I know Waz has been itching to get back out there. He might sound like a homebody, but deep in his loins, he yearns for the minds of other planets. This time, we have an actual scouted planet, and it's perfect. Iron, copper, oil, vulcanite, coal, water, <clears throat> and even zero biters. But it does have biter meteors, so we packed some meteor turrets and ammo. 
We haven't actually had to deal with them yet. I don't think it was a deal killer for an otherwise ideal planet. Uh, we'll see, though. Cranberry wheat, dark matter rye, uncooked bread out of your mouth, please. I, I, I can't speak on Do we want to mark water stations? Yeah. Uh, was that Russian? I don't... Da, the Kremen, yeah. With the new requester chest so we can handle all the scrap in this one area up here. shot none of them hit 20 percent to the fourth power i think i have a jet okay time to make a bot mall this time much bigger oh well, at least processing vulcanite makes steam so i'll get a little bit of power back from it the beauty of our train system is really going to shine here i can pack in like 10 train stops it's incredible there are many more things i want the bot mall to make here so the quantities of resources are going to be very high each train stop will handle one resource and provide them in a chest so no matter how complicated the recipe is I can make every intermediate as long as the resources are provided. Proximity is a little more pertinent here I'm going to try and make things like gears and iron beams closer to where the iron is dropped off for example. It's not going to be perfect there are a lot of things I want to make but it'll help uh, quite a bit. It's also important to remove passive provider chests that might already contain these resources. I don't want the bots flying all the way to the main belt to pick up some iron when there is a literal train load of it sitting right here. Some people don't like bot malls. They think it's lazy to make the bots do all this. I don't fully understand that. Like, is making the belt or train do the task more of a quote-unquote pure factory? The bots don't count for anything. I can understand not wanting to have the bots replace belts and trains, but I don't ever see them doing that. They don't move items with nearly as much throughput as a train and at a distance are much slower and even incur a large power draw from the roboports. Even now that they are quote unquote fully upgraded with requester chests, I'm still going to be using trains a ton. Belts also offer higher throughput with more flexibility and way less overhead. In theory, I think you can use roboports for everything, but I think that actually takes longer and can be even more complicated than not. Moving 100,000 iron plates from A to B will take bots forever, and there's no way to control bot priority except by splitting networks, but then you'd have to manage logistic bot numbers for each network separately and find a way to move items between networks, which is a massive pain. But the main reason why I'm doing this is just because of the sheer number of random motherfucking garbage I need to make, and I'll rattle off a short list just to give you an idea. <sighs> Yellow, red, and blue belts, underground splitters, and loaders. That's 12 things, mind you. Burner, normal, fast, a stack, and stack. Filter, inserters, burner, space, and assembler. One, twos, and threes. Burner, electric, electric, miner. Twos, core miners. Stone, steel, electric, and industrial furnaces. Casting machines, automation cores, electronic components, inserter parts, batteries, copper cable, iron gears, sticks, and beams. Steel gears and beams. Speed and productivity modules. One and two efficiency modules. Small and electric motors. Single and multi-cylinder engines. Steel chests, warehouse, fluid tanks, passive provider chests, requester chests, passive provider warehouses, storage warehouses, recyclers, pulverizers, air condensers, water filtrations plants, water electrolysis plants, fuel refineries, chemical stations, centrifuges, oil refineries, locomotives, cargo wagons, fluid wagons, rail signals, rail chain signals, train stops, logistic train stops, train tracks, solar panels, accumulators, steam engines, steam turbines, boilers, nuclear reactors, heat pipes, heat exchangers, oil pump jacks, mineral water pump jacks, offshore pumps, labs, space labs, suck my d and that's not even everything. So yeah, if you don't want to bot mall these, do what you do, but uh, you know where to find me. And I'm just like, yeah, this is bullshit. I didn't mention the smelted resources, circuits, or fluids. To make things simple, I'm just going to crack down heavy oil into light and petroleum, so I don't need three trains coming here. Bot malls are not about quantity of things you make, they're about quantity of unique things you make. Mm. 
what'd you eat? Burger, two corn dogs. <laughs> Bro. Dude, you're gone for like fucking five minutes. What the fuck? I mean, if you if you boof one of the corn dogs, you think I didn't boof the corn dog? No, I, I'm not implying you did or didn't. Material testing pack. What the fuck? And it's one plastic, one iron, one copper, one rare metal, and one immersite crystal. Next. Skyance. Oh shit! We need to start finding more uranium, and we need to make iron ingots too. Fuck. Her production science. The iron process has resumed, so we are safe. Hoggy woggy. Another one crashed. Who's got nostalgia for the main belt? We're actually backing up on iron ore from the core miner, so I'm gonna help out with these big boys. the batteries for up here? The oh, batteries? Bomb all? Yeah. Okay. I didn't even notice we were next to the bomb all. It consumes. Maybe, <laughs> maybe we should like make a blueprint for making cargo rocket sections as a bot mall. If we go to a planet, it's just like, now we're making cargo sections is. as long yeah. as we have like iron and copper and like stone or whatever. Checking back in on Waz, he's really gotten things going here. Look at how clean everything is. I feel exposed. Could you please make more spaghetti, you fucking competent Factorio player? You can make two cargo sections at a time. That's fucking amazing. Well, we have a goal now then. All right, four hours later and the bot mall is popping. The biggest thing this does is make it so I don't have to wait for 20 minutes every time I want to make a pulverizer. Also, we can now spam Assembler 3s that have two more module slots and faster crafting speed than 2s, so I'm very happy. Uh, ooh, Iridium Heat Shielding. We can get that with after we get this science going. It's on, uh... Oh, on Morgan. On Morgan. Yeah. Oh my god, that, yes. Okay. It's way fucking cheaper. Like, a negligible sulfur cost to make heat shielding, which would be really nice. To prepare for the Vulcanite Waz is making, I create a cargo landing pad in space. Oh. Feels good to be sending a rocket directly to space this time. Yep, that one's slightly off. This is a mental tank test. See if you can handle an object being slightly off in a video game. Was needed some centrifuges and other supplies. Hope this one doesn't crash. Should be like 70 centrifuges in there. We have done almost zero uranium processing and that is about to change. Our next science production space science needs uranium-238. We first need to mine uranium ore, which requires sulfuric acid, then process it into uranium-238, stone, iron, and a less than 1% chance of getting uranium-235. Uranium-235 is rare, but can be made into fuel cells, which primarily power nuclear fuel, which provides massive amounts of electricity. The 238, however, is what we need right now, and thankfully very common. Centrifuges are fairly slow at processing uranium, so I want to get a start on this now. Nine hours, boys. Ugh. Oh yeah. It's fitting that I reach 99 hours irradiated with a heart problem in the middle of the night. 
Waz is getting mighty close to getting Vulcanite into space and allowing us to take another scientific step forward next time.